Uh, joining me uh, for more on this is I-24 News diplomatic correspondent uh, Mike Wagenheim. He joins me in studio. Uh, uh, Mike, we're getting into the home stretch here before uh, Israelis go to the polls uh, on, on, on uh, next week. It, it seems like the race is getting nastier, as I mentioned. And, and there's this new report about Netanyahu accusing Gantz of hiding things from the public and being secretive. What's that about? You got to remember, this isn't uh, an election every four years. This is now the third one in less than a year. Yeah. There isn't a whole lot left to, to find out about your opponent. This right. There aren't a whole lot of weapons left in the arsenal. <laughs> so it, 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 everything is fair game right now. Everybody's throwing the kitchen sink at each other. Benjamin Netanyahu accusing Benny Gantz, number one, of being involved in criminal activity. We've heard that in the last few mm -hmm. days. Gantz's company, his former company, which went bankrupt, is now under investigation by the state prosecutor, which was pushed through right. by a Netanyahu confidant, the Justice Minister Amir Khanna, uh, saying that Gantz obtained the uh, contract for that company illegally. Gantz is not a suspect, according to the Attorney General. Now Netanyahu saying that illicit videos of Benny Gantz were obtained by the Iranians in a hack of his cell phone last year. And we're hearing internal reports now. One of, Net, uh, one of Gantz's personal strategic advisors right. was caught on a recording that aired on Israeli television today saying that Gantz is a danger to Israel. He doesn't have the courage mm. to attack Iran. That's not coming from Netanyahu's side. That's coming from Gantz's own camp. Benny Gantz is taking it from all sides right now. He's slipping in the polls. Usually it's Netanyahu trying to play from behind, at least lately. He's the front runner now. He's taking advantage of it. And Netanyahu is really, really seizing on this talk, uh, you know, especially the, the recording from the advisor, uh, 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 against Gantz. Well, it falls right into Netanyahu's hands. Why? Because Benjamin Netanyahu has cast himself, mm -hmm. as have many others, as Mr. Security. He has said for the longest time he is the only one that can secure Israel's present, its future. He knows the region, he knows the world, he knows to, who to connect to, and he, he's uh, maintained Israel's uh, defensive readiness. He says nobody else is up to the task. When you have people in Benny Gantz's own camp that are saying he's not up to the task, yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot. What about a debate, though? Wouldn't a debate kind of solve things and at least get the candidates focused on the issues instead of the mudslinging? Is there any room for that? Is there any time for that? Listen, you could ask Benjamin Netanyahu that for the last two decades, yeah. because it was usually Netanyahu who was ducking these debates. If I was Benny Gantz, I'm not. But if I was Benny Gantz, there's no way in the world I would step into a debate with Benjamin Netanyahu. He is just an experienced politician. Benny Gantz is getting better, but he's not up to the task against Netanyahu one-on-one -on -one in a rhetorical debate. Yeah. Gantz just doesn't have it. He's a smart man avoiding that debate. Let me ask you this. You know, in this country, if there was this amount of mudslinging between candidates, there'd be outrage. I mean, there have been times where the American public has just openly said, we don't really like all the, the negative campaigning. Is that not the case in Israel? You know, to some extent it is, and to some extent it isn't. Israeli yeah. politics is especially filthy on a normal day. Mm. Eh, when you're not in election season, just a normal day <laughs> at the parliament, there's mudslinging, there's name calling, there's accusations. You wouldn't call your worst enemy some of the names that are being wow. called on a daily basis. So it's not, it's not like it's a shock to the system. I think the Israeli public has been fatigued because of the constant election cycle. Three elections now in less than a year. They've been hearing this mudslinging for, for almost a year straight now. It's, it's a little bit nauseating at this point to some. And then if we don't come to a resolution on, on, on this election, we could go to a fourth? Why not? <laughs> I mean, Let, uh, let's just, listen, the, the polls have shown that there isn't much uh, uh, difference between the last election and April's election, for that matter, and this one. A shift of a seat here, a shift of a seat there. We're starting to see the Likud party mm -hmm. pick up the uh, the seats in a, in a couple of recent polls. But you got to remember, it's not who the largest party right. is. It's can you form a majority government? And even the most Likud-friendly polls still show them a few seats short of forming a cohesive wow. bloc that can form a government. Still got a long ways to go. We'll be watching it closely. I-24 News Diplomatic Correspondent Mike Wagenheim. Mike, thanks.